Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today we're talking about the dumbbell rower, and we're gonna look at the feet. We're gonna try to, well, you know, you can only see so much of my feet, but you'll, you'll get the picture. Um, we're gonna try to discuss this concept that I have been iterating over and over. The, um, the lower body has to secure before the upper body can do a row, okay? That is our main premise here. So oftentimes what I'm seeing in the dumbbell row, let's move this back a little bit, is shifting a lot of weight onto the arm. I don't know if it's to try to not hit the knee with the weight or if they just like to stabilize with their neck. Um, it's really common. I work with a lot of people who work at computers a lot. so they are used to using their neck. And I gotta tell you, if you're watching this, you probably are too because you're a human. <laughs> um, the, the things that I'm looking for are, you know, sometimes you'll see shrugging and sometimes you'll see a little bit of side bending and head tilting. We've talked about those previously. Watch those other videos because I think they'll give you some insight. But another thing you can look at is the feet and where is the center of mass? Where is their balance point? So if I see that you're kind of shifted forward onto your toes or the balls of your feet, and maybe your shins are kind of angled forward, they're not angled vertically up from the ground, then I start to get concerned. Then I want to start asking someone, hey, do you feel your legs? And oftentimes they're gonna say no. <laughs> and then I'm gonna say, okay, do it <laughs> then. <laughs> feel them. Um, the idea is I need to sit back, I need to secure my legs because otherwise my upper body doesn't have anything to rotate away from. Otherwise my whole hip just kind of moves with my entire body. I don't get this turning sensation of my body. I get this um, like a rigid plank and then total unit turning instead. There isn't this dissociation of the shoulders and of the, I was trying not to say dissociation, but I think it's a really good word because I'm taking my hips one way and then I'm taking my shoulders the other way. That's what's happening. I'm dissociating the, the bottom from the top. Um, so, it, poor leg drive during this row, it looks like I'm shifting my weight onto my toes. What I need to do instead is shift my weight back onto my heels. I may need to not stick my butt out so much. I may need to not crunch my back so much. I may need to just find a, a nice little subtle position. Maybe I tell myself to just get long from head to tail and that'll just help me sit, help my core position sit into a more optimal position.